Lacey, Lacey, come here. Hello, hello, hello. Come here. Look at, we're like, we could be characters in Best in Show. Look at. All right. Okay. Nice. Lacey and I are in a competition to see who can grow the biggest beard. I'm winning. Hello. Nice to see you all again. I thought I would take a little break from editing, which has um, been quite insane lately, <laughs> to tell you about this amazing project that I've been working on, which is called Orfano Mondo, or The Orphan World. In case you didn't know, and you've been living under a rock, Atlanta Opera produced amazing outdoor um, stagings of both Pagliacci and uh, Kaiser von Atlantis in the fall, um, which I got to be a part of. So Felipe Barral did an amazing job of documenting those performances. He was the cinematographer and Tomers Vulun was the production director. Um, he's also, also the general director of Atlanta Opera. You can see those performances in full at the Atlanta Opera website. One of the things that struck me about being there and watching those shows was part of the performance was about what was happening in the world, not just what was happening on stage. When Kanio talks about how hard it is to perform while something incredibly intense and painful is happening in his life, we can understand that, right? <laughs> With what's going on in the world. And Tomer asked me to be a part of it from a film standpoint because I've been doing all these film things. And so I decided what would be interesting to me is kind of tell the story of what was it like to be there? with the pandemic around us, with opera singers really desperately trying to do their art form in incredibly trying circumstances. It was amazing to me to watch these opera singers sing with masks on, behind plastic in a circus tent. And just the whole feeling of the evenings was one of incredible beauty and relief, but also it was pretty dark. And how do we tell that story in a way that feels like who we are? Through the music and through the characters and then ultimately through the artists themselves. If you don't know Pagliacci and Kaiser really well, part of the idea in both of them is to sort of play within a play. It's those layers that interest me. In Pagliacci you have the performance that's happening for the audience, the commedia, right? And behind that you have Kanio and Nenda who are in this incredibly difficult situation. And then behind that, you have these singers who are performing in a circus tent. And not just performing in a circus tent, but the whole time thinking, is this gonna be it? Is this my last run? Do I know when my next performance is coming? Am I gonna be safe? Is the audience gonna be safe? There's so many unknowns there. And then of course in Kaiser, the people that originally performed that were in a concentration camp. So there's a play within a play there too, right? Because the story of their circumstances really overshadowed what would have been the initial performances. So really to me, it's about the layers of art, the art and the artist, and then the art again and the artist again, and the way the world gets peeled back like an onion and at the center of it, is this emotional truth that we're all in this together. One of the best things about it is each episode is only 10 or 15 minutes. So if you can't handle a whole opera at once, you're fine. The first four chapters came out last week. The fifth chapter just dropped. Go check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Not only are they short, but also you can watch them in any order. I mean, they do follow the story of Pagliacci first and then Kaiser, but honestly, they make sense by themselves. And it's really about the feeling of it and not necessarily the literal story of the characters. Ooh, look at that sun flare. Mmm, I love it. Look at it. Watch it again. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm, my favorite. So anyway, I hope you'll check out our little experiment at stream.atlantaopera.org. Five episodes ready for you right now. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment here on YouTube or on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I'm on all the places. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see what you think. See you soon. Let's see, let's see, let's see.